بسم اللہ الرحمن رحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی گوئنگ ٹو بی موونگ فارورڈ بائی لوکنگ ایٹ اے لوکل کیس اسٹڈی اینڈ دس کیس اسٹڈی از اباؤٹ اے کمپنی وچ بیسکلی ہیڈ اے چیلنج آف کارپوریٹ سرویلنس لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹمن وی گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دس کمپنی وچ از اے ریل لائف کمپنی بٹ ول ناٹ بی شیئرنگ اٹس نیم ڈیو ٹو کانفیڈینشیلٹی کلاز وچ اگین از اے پارٹ آف کارپوریٹ گورننس but i would like to share with you that this company is a high value added company which basically was exporting uh, high tech uh, goods to countries like germany uh, to to france to spain to italy uh, to korea to japan to taiwan to malaysia so uh, basically it had a niche market of export high precision uh, goods were being produced and being exported at value added prices uh, to very uh, technologically advanced countries now this particular company had a very good shareholder management and employee relationship and in all of this the employees had very good salaries uh, they had good working conditions it was a conducive in atmosphere and environment it would have uh, a lot of good benefits for them uh, they were taken care of the owners of the company had this repo Uh, and would empathize with uh, their employees and uh, everything was going very well however many a times management keeps on thinking that what should they do to optimize performance to optimize profits and to uh, make their organization more efficient and effective so uh, what happened was that uh, despite having wonderful and star studded uh, profitability figures and also performance uh, criterion however the manage kept on, management kept on thinking that yeah maybe there's something that we are not doing and therefore what they did was that one day they made the decision that let's put up a surveillance system within the whole organization so because nowadays technology uh, is uh, very common and again is very cheap and surveillance has its own benefits also the company went uh, and developed a project and put the whole Uh, factory under surveillance the factory and also the offices now what happened was that they put in the surveillance cameras and uh, what they saw was that after a few months their production started falling and their profitability started falling there were more uh, there were more goods and there were more items which would not be passing the quality test so there were more rejections uh, in the items which were being made and the management sat down and started thinking why did this happen everything is fine things are going normal salaries are great benefits are great but quality was falling down and uh, secondly the total production also started falling down so they hired a team of consultants and engaged them to evaluate and analyze the situation so based upon that analysis the consultancy firm came up with the main cause of the negative production and also the following of the quality products and that cause was the surveillance system now that was very amazing that why would people be perturbed with a surveillance system well ladies and gentlemen boys and girls uh, if you are a high producer and if you are doing things right and if you are self motivated and have this sense of ownership with the company and are giving your best are doing more than is required and are optimizing your own resource in the best possible way when the company puts up a surveillance camera or surveillance cameras in different places you feel that there is a trust deficit you feel as if the company is spying on your work and your way of conducting yourself you feel that maybe the owners of the company think that the employee is doing something wrong the employee is stealing the employee is not working properly while the facts are absolutely opposite of this so what happened was was that the employees 
started getting this feeling of mistrust, which we call a trust deficit basically emerged. And secondly, what happened was that they started, they started communicating with each other and their personal disgruntlement became an institutional disgruntlement. And that had a devastating effect on the whole organization. And everything was going wrong. So based upon the analysis which was done, the interviews which were conducted anonymously, and on reviewing the different activities, the management then came to a decision that the many millions and millions of rupees spent on the surveillance system, that surveillance system would be taken off and the company would do business as usual pre-surveillance time. And way behold, when the surveillance system was taken down, everyone was very happy, everyone was more satisfied, everyone was more content and due to their inner motivation, they again started excelling, they again started exceeding expectations, they again started producing the best quality they could be and that would lead to more sustainable profits for that particular organization. So many a times, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, an executive can take a wrong decision. But it doesn't mean that he or she has to stick to it. Once it's identified as a wrong decision, then there should be remedial action and that negativity should be taken out of the institution and also from within the culture and hierarchy of that particular organization. So that is the challenge of corporate surveillance. Thank you so much.